Hey guys, back with another episode of So Storm. Uh, for some reason, everybody was set on do not attack anything whatsoever. So, don't know what that's about. But, this may very well be the last time you'll see me recording this. <coughs> uh, Necrons, I mean. Because this is probably not gonna only gotta take one episode. We wield powers you cannot even imagine. <clears throat> Look, I'm the Necron Lord. You get I can imagine powers. Um, let's get God, it feels like something stuck in my throat. <clears throat> uh, do I have... Um, but it's this one, so let's take this up here. But I have two <clears throat> heavy destroyers. Okay. Well, <clears throat> throat is... Wow, my throat just got really dry for some reason. That was odd. Okay, so now we got the entire army that we basically will ever need. And we can just attack this over here. I'm not sure what's up here. Probably just a forward base. Um, <clears throat> let's get another out. I want to bring him up here to take this point. Good. Very good. Everything is looking up. That guy died unusually quick. Let's get... Oh, what is going on? That's not that bad. Oh, there's one of the soul cages. Run up and take that relic. And let's get a heavy destroyer built to help take out Deus. If it comes down, I mean. Okay, stay hidden then. He's building. Very nice. Uh, not much destruction, just trying to be a nuisance, apparently. And, no, not a lower destroyer. Let's get another heavy destroyer. Oh! That's not good. Okay, so I can bring him out. These people are doing fine. Uh, 
act like they're getting hurt. Oh, there's the relic. Very nice. I'm gonna build a monolith up there. As long as he stays stuck, I'm happy. Oh, he's awake. Okay, I completely forgot about him. Oh, why is the relic just unattended? Very nice, very nice. Why is the relic unattended? Oh, 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 how's it welcome? I can make it quick. What's up here? Oh, yeah, the other soul cage, I think. And a different way into the base. What's over there? Why is it tortured? Why is it glowing with the tortured slave? Oh, no, no, no. I want everybody safe. We shall take everything of theirs. Now they shall pay handsomely for their impudence. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. I damn it, but I shall return. Okay, so um, he will actually send his dias down till he gets to pretty low health, actually. But he won't go lower than a specific health. So. I tried ambushing him several times and they never seem to work out too well. I like my two guardians, that's, that's kind of fine to me. And then let's bring one up here to build a monolith. There we go. Set that down. You come over here and repair stuff. Ooh. This guy's almost done building. I know this guy's done building. Did I upgrade this? No, I didn't. Okay, it's mine now. You will stay there to help defend. Actually, you shall stay here too. Okay, this should be done, which it is. Put it in. Everything's upgraded nicely. Only have so much though. Okay, both of them are still here. Well, let's go up and fight whatever it is that needs to be fought. Don't stay up there. Why aren't, why aren't you doing something? Fools. Okay. 
We don't really have any other surprises in store. I don't believe that they're actually as crafty as the old are. They would have been much harder if I hadn't destroyed those two other bases. Jump down. Where is he going? Is he going to get stuck? He's going to get stuck. Okay. <laughs> He's stuck. Moron. Let's go the back way. Do not take that out of context. Doing, they're doing good. They're doing good. Things are still built nicely. Deus is still stuck. For some reason. I wonder if that's the repair team for Deus. The relic is as defended as possible. And I can only imagine that the resistance in here will be much tougher. So I'm bringing one with me now. I had hoped that they day to should come down, but no. Okay, so now we can bring out our ultimate tool and just completely destroy everybody, everywhere. They seem to attack the hardest when the dais is about to do some stuff. Oh, what happened there? Why couldn't... Anything down here. They're fighting amongst themselves. That's the best I'm got to hope for. Okay, he's ready. Let's um bring him out here. Very good. And drag him over there. Ooh. Those take a lot of damage. But are susceptible to morale. Okay. Oh, she's gone. 
tell you what, in a normal game without all these upgrades, my commander would have been dead by now. Guarantee it. Let's see if we can end this quick. Very nice. I believe as soon as that day has is destroyed, we win. this up but we shall do it oh. no no okay maybe so Why is everyone not attacking him? I'm guessing he's right there too. The time of your suffering is about to begin. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Very good. Very good. Destroy that soul gauge. But now I know where he is. What do we do? What do we do? Destroy? Okay. Very good, very good. We wield powers you cannot even imagine <laughs> oh, 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 look at that, look at that, look at that. Yes. We win. I believe that's all I needed to do to win. Yep. Yes. Well, if we had 
die that I should have taken his place. Now I must flee. Very nice. The battle between the Necrons and Dark Elder armies, although both were undoubtedly evil, was in many ways a struggle of life versus death. For the Dark Eldar were devotees of life, feasting on its vibrancies and its excesses. The Necrons, for their part, stood only for death and cold, brute power. Unfortunately for the Dark Eldar, the weapons of horror and suffering were entirely lost on the unfeeling, metal-bodied Necron army. Indeed, where the Dark Eldar remained, a small and agile force, the Necrons multiplied until they were a sea without number, an advantage which served them greatly in overwhelming the Dark Eldar stronghold. As they killed each other on the field of battle, did either side remember that once, in a past age, they had also been mortal enemies at war? Perhaps this memory deepened the bitter despair of the Dark Eldar as they fought and died. Perhaps there was a gloating air of vengeance to the Necrons as they crushed them. Okay guys, since that's the last um, stronghold to be taken down, here is a cutscene of the um, Necrons being supreme. Once, in another age, the Necrons had fought a great war in the Kaurava system and lost. Awakened again, so many millennia later, they found new, strange, and terrible armies around them. This time, however, Profiting from the confusion of the living, they would not be denied victory. Soon, the planet teemed with the dark forms of the Necron army. Great tomb ships stood guard while others launched on excursions of conquest. In all doings, their enemies succumbed quickly in confusion and terror. This was no accident. Where the Calderon Necrons went, their god, the Great Deceiver, ever clouded the minds of their foes. And here's the ending, uh, the classic ending.
Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series of the Dark Eldar. Oh, if you didn't catch it, I hope you enjoyed this series of the Dark Eldar and Soulstorm. Dark Eldar, Necrons of Soulstorm. Uh, being my favorite person race to play as, I had all a whole hell of a lot of fun doing that. Um, but since I have two other series like the Dark Eldar and to Imperial Guard to catch up, I'm gonna be doing. The Imperial Guard. I'm going to try to bring them back up to speed. Because uh, they are easier to play with while trying to go back to not the Eldar style. Uh, the, the Necron style playing, but going back to the normal races where you have to actually capture the points for the money. So you can't just attack right off the bat all the time. So, I hope you really enjoyed this series as much as I have. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um... I'd recommend some other people to watch, but I don't really know any other. I don't really watch any other people aside from some of the Minecraft guys that play Minecraft. So. I hope you all have a great day.